are going to be going over three more common lies you'll hear from post-tribber heretics. The first one is that Matthew chapter 24 lines up with 1 Corinthians 15, 51 and 54, and 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 14 and 17. If that's the case, then why is there zero mention of dead scenes rising in Matthew chapter 24? In 1 Corinthians 15, 51 and 54, and 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 14 and 17, both of those um, verses mention dead saints rising first. But why is there zero mention of dead saints rising in Matthew chapter 24? And they'll say, well, it was revealed later. Well, that's, how can that be true? Because in John chapter 11, Jesus Christ reveals the resurrection and rapture. So no, Matthew chapter 24 does not line up with those other two verses because there's no mention of dead saints rising first. And they can't say, well, it was revealed later because Jesus Christ himself reveals the rapture in, in John chapter 11. Second lie is they'll say that Jesus Christ and the Apostle Paul preached the same thing. And again, total lie, because nowhere in the Apollon epistles does Paul ever tell anyone to endure to the end to be saved. In Matthew chapter 24, verse 13, and Matthew chapter 10, verse 22, Jesus Christ tells the Jews they have to endure until the end to be saved. You know, where does Paul ever say we have to endure to be saved? Paul says we're sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Also, Jesus Christ was preaching the gospel of the kingdom. Paul was not preaching the gospel of the kingdom. Paul was preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. See um, Romans chapter 1, verse 16, Romans 15, 29, and 1 Corinthians 10, 14. And for Jesus preaching the gospel of the kingdom, see Matthew chapter 4, verse 23, Matthew chapter 5, verse 35, 9, verse 35. They were not preaching the same thing. So saying that, that, that Jesus Christ and the apostle Paul preached the same thing is one, one of the lies you hear from post-tribber heretics. And the third lie, you'll hear, a third common lie you'll hear from post tribber heretics, is that there is no mention of the rapture before 1830. Common lie from them. And this is not true because there actually are writings about the, the uh, pre-tribulational rapture, if you want to use that term, before 1830. Some writings of this include the Shepherd of Hermes, the Apocalypse of Elijah, the uh, Apocalypse of the Pseudo, of Pseudo Ephraim, and the History of Brother Della Cano. Those are all writings way centuries before 1830 that are about the pre-trip that made mention of the pre-trip rapture so the, yes there is mention of it before the before 1830 but here's the thing even if it was only mentioned in 1830 the standard is what does the scriptures say it's not who said what first or who what, what have christians always believed the standard is what does the bible say okay so even if it was okay let's just say let's say it was invented let's just say it was invented last year in 2019 Okay, who cares? What does the Bible say? That's the standard. The standard is not who said what first or what's the historic position of the church. The standard is what does the scriptures say? Okay, saying that, oh, well, because it was only invented in 1830, therefore we can't believe it. That's Catholic type reasoning because Catholics, when they can't handle scripture, they'll say, well, the historic position of the church is or the church fathers taught or Christians have always believed so and so or such and such. You know, when, when you're telling, when dealing with them about scripture alone, they'll say, well, scripture alone was only invented by Martin Luther in the 1500s. You know, the early Christians didn't believe it. post rivers have this exact same logic. Well, it was only invented in 1830. The historic Christians didn't believe it. It's Catholic reasoning. The standard is what does the scripture say? It's not who said what first or what have Christians always believed? You know, professing Christians. Because it's always been the Catholic Church that has taught the... Uh, post-tribulational rapture, or if you want the proper term, it would be the Christian, go the body of Christ goes through the time of Jacob's trouble. But yeah, those are three common lies you hear from post-tribber heretics. That Jesus Christ and Paul preach the same thing. Matthew 24 lines up with 1 Corinthians 15 and 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, and there was no mention before 1830 with John Nelson Darby. Three common lies, all rebutted, all rebutted in this video. So, don't be deceived by the satanic post-trib heresy, and it is satanic. It makes God into a liar because it makes it out where God will punish the righteous righteous Christians along with the wicked lost world. It makes God a liar. And the best way to answer a lot of these post-tribber heretics is just say to them, because they'll, like, they'll come, up, come up with all these little questions, all these little ways they can try to you know, loop around things and that kind of stuff. Here's how you just pin them to the wall or when you pin them, sorry, pin them into a corner. Sorry. Uh, just ask them, give me one verse in the Bible where God ever punished righteous people with the wicked. Even back in the Old Testament, God would not punish, I mean, back in Genesis chapter 19, God would not destroy Sodom and Gomorrah as long as Lot was still there. So, if we're, if we're going to go into the time of Jacob's trouble, how does that work? Because that would mean God punishing the righteous with the wicked. So, the best way to just destroy this whole post-trib heresy is say, give us one verse where God ever punished righteous saints with the wicked. Not where, where God allowed something to happen, but where God himself is doing it. Because there were times in the Old Testament where... A, where God would allow a nation to come in and, and judge the wicked Israelites and there would be righteous people that would get caught up into it, but it was never actually God himself doing doing the uh, wrath. Okay, 
if we go into the time of Jacob's trouble, it would be God himself doing the wrath. Okay, give me one verse where it's ever God himself pouring out wrath. And I'm going to be coming more in more about this in a future video. But yeah, give me one verse that where it's God himself pouring out the wrath. Okay, so don't be deceived by the post-trip heresy. It is very, very satanic. It is, again, it makes God into a liar. So don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye. Thank you.